Do you ever have a rain barrel that you want to pump out? Or maybe a garden that's uh, too far away from the house? You want to use a pump, but you got no electricity out there either. But you love DeWalt tools? Tim, DeWalt doesn't make a pump. Well, no, they don't. But Malief Tools does that takes a DeWalt battery. Check this out right here. Pop that in. We're going to put this to the test and see how good is this battery pump. And we're going to put a DeWalt adapter onto my Bauer pump. And we're going to do a head-to-head -head test. We're going to see how fast it'll empty a five-gallon bucket, how far it'll spray the water, and which one seems to be built better. So let's check it out. Decided to use the handy-dandy Harbor Freight bucket. Filled them both to the absolute brim, just so they would be equal, so five gallons a piece. And before anybody complains, 95% of this water was pumped directly into my wicking bed. So the Comfrey and Berries will get the use of the water. And in case you're wondering, I accidentally did pull the hose out of the DeWalt knockoff for just a second. But in the end, you're going to see it doesn't really matter. There we go. The DeWalt knockoff is getting close enough that I have to bend over and get right into the bottom of the bucket. And you're going to see here in just a second, the flow keeps strong right until the end. And boom, right there at 36 seconds. So then we're going to keep using the Harbor Freight, which to be honest, the first time I used this, I was really impressed because it's the only time I'd ever used a pump before that was cordless but here we are waiting and we're still waiting <laughs> but that's no big deal it does the trick it absolutely does um, the cool thing about the harbor freight is that it also has backup of electricity which for the power of it not that big of a deal so we're getting close to the end here almost three times as long at 98 seconds for the harbor freight pump not a bad showing but the dewalt absolutely blew it out of the water. Let's just say one sucks and the other blows. Nah, sorry for the dad joke there guys, but yeah, you can see the difference and the pressure coming out was immense. All right, so the next head to head here is going to be uh, the spray test. We started out with the Bauer. You can see there, that's kind of on the jet mode. We we'll go over to the shower mode. That's the one I tend to water all the plants with. It's not bad. I made it abundantly clear in the original review that it's nowhere near as good pressure as town water, but it does the trick. It'll get water pumped from a container and get your foliage absolutely drenched. So we're gonna swap over to the Malief, and there is a noticeable difference once you get started. Now that's a, a thicker stream there. Uh, it's hard to tell in these pictures. It was hard to get a really good background, but you'll see the, the shower was where it was really, there you go. The jet stream goes all the way across and out of the photo. I got about twice the distance overall with the Malief DeWalt knockoff, which was fairly impressive. And the shower went just a little bit further as well. Overall, it had better flow and better pressure. It was pretty damn close, honestly, to regular household water pressure, which was way better than I even expected. So let's give you a close up look at this guy. What do I like about it? Well, it's a nice, Oh, woo. <laughs> nice on off rocker switch there. Much better, not hidden under the handle like on the Bauer one. Give it whatever you want to think. It's got an LED light. Everything's got an LED light now. I like this right here. A nice heavy duty snapping lid. Hides the battery really well. Holds a five amp hour battery snug and tight. You are not going to get any bigger of a battery in there. Okay, a little heavier. Weighs about twice as much of, as the Bauer, but these have really nice all brass fittings on there as well. Get the impeller in the front. Doesn't come with a changeable impeller, but you get to at least see it if something's jammed in there. I think we know who the clear winner was, but uh, Malief, the DeWalt knockoff, current price on that guy is $98.99. The Bauer from Harbor Freight, current price is $99.99. Maximum height above the water that the Malief can be is six feet. Same with the Bauer. So that means sitting next to a water source, you can be six feet above it and still lift water from it. Now the Malief, this is something I didn't test, but according to the specs, has a deadlift of 60 feet. The Bauer has a deadlift of 45 feet. What that means is it will lift water that far until a trickle. That is the point where it exceeds its capacity and will no longer pump anything out at all. Now, the weight, the Malief is seven pounds, the Bauer's three and a half pounds. The thing is, that extra three and a half pounds makes the Malief feel like it's built much more solid. And if you put them side by side, you'll see the difference. You got brass fittings on the Malief. You have 
plastic threaded fittings on the bower. You pick them up, the bower feels like a toy in your hand. You pick up the Malief and it feels like a pump, which I like. The Malief is designed more like a traditional electric 120 plug-in pump, whereas the Bauer is 100% designed to run off of batteries. Now, there's one thing that the Bauer does come with. It does come with a 120 volt household power AC adapter. The problem is, is that it doesn't pump out water any faster on household power than it does on battery. So I decided a while back I would try the Bauer with household power to pump out my hot tub and I wasn't happy with the flow rate. So I switched back to my standard plug-in one because if you have power, you're going to use a standard heavy duty powered pump, not a battery pump with a plug-in. That's my thoughts. Now, as far as what the companies claim and how much flow you get out of them, the Bauer is rated at 325 gallons per hour. In my real world test, I only got 183 gallons per hour. Now, the Malief was rated at 430 gallons per hour, and we actually exceeded that by a significant amount, almost 14% at 500 gallons per hour. That thing has a lot of flow. It has all the pressure you want for a cordless portable pump. I, I really like this tool. I was really surprised at it. The other thing is, if you want to run your Bauer off of DeWalt tools, you have to buy yourself another $20 adapter, which once you have it, you have it. Whereas the Malief has that adapter built in and it will run off your existing DeWalt battery platform. And I'm a big fan of standardizing around one battery platform if you can do it. So I hope that helps, guys. This pump really surprised me at the quality for 100 bucks. If you're looking for a battery pump, this is the guy. This is the one to pick up, I think, anyhow. And if you're still here watching this, that means I made this video for you, and that means I appreciate you. So if you could, hit that subscribe button, stick around so that you get more videos just like this one. And guys, as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and have a great 